In this lesson, I'm going to explain nested sequences. And I could take the next few minutes to explain what they are, but it's much easier to understand them when you can see them in action. So let's get started. Go to Working Files, go to Projects, and go on down to the bottom here and open up Nested Sequences. A nested sequence is a sequence in a sequence, and the nested sequence behaves like a clip. There is an option to make it look like you've copied and pasted all the layers into another sequence, but for the most part, you deal with it as a single clip. So I'm going to show you several instances here in this lesson. Let's take a look at this first one here. I've got this composite here with several things going on. This graphic and the sign, and then we move it out of the way and have that horse come in like that. What I want to do is put a cross dissolve here, a cross dissolve transition on all three of those layers. It's kind of inconvenient to do it on three things. It's much easier to do it on one. So to do that, I created a nested sequence where it becomes a single clip. There are several ways to create a nested sequence. Let me show you this one. Go over here to Sequences, scrolling down here, I'm looking for the layered graphics and video. I take that sequence and drag it to the new item icon like this and make another sequence out of it. And there you go. There is that nested sequence. It's just one clip now, even though it's a whole bunch of stuff, all kinds of layers. It's just one clip like so which makes it convenient now to be able to put a cross dissolve at the end. Notice when you create it this way that the name of this sequence is the same as the one you just got it out of. So make sure you change that. I'm going to click on this, go to the beginning and type in nested layered graphics and video to make sure I differentiate between the two. And now I want to put a cross dissolve on all three of these things at once, which in this case means putting it on one clip. So go to effects, go to video transitions, dissolve, drag cross dissolve to the end there like so. Let me expand the view a bit here and make it just a little bit longer so you can see it better. I'll click on that and we'll just drag that back away and make it a couple seconds long like so. Let's watch the end here. All three of them will fade out equally, which is a nice thing. They all dissolve away equally. So that's one use of a nested sequence. Let's take a look at this one over here. It's a pretty detailed composite. I've got three pictures in a picture here, each with its own frame. So I've got six layers here. Let me expand the view a bit so you can see that. I want to have them all cross dissolve out. Plus, I've got some audio here as well. My plan is to put these guys over a background. So here's this audio there, and then the images come on, and then the audio continues after these guys go off screen. So I'm going to nest these guys in another sequence. Pretty easy to do that. I'm going to nest them inside this background here. I've already set it up where it's going from a sharp focus to a blurred focus, and then those images will come on, and then they'll fade away toward the end. The way to do this is simply to drag that sequence over to here. So let's go back to the project panel. I've got the four scenes sequence right there. I'm going to drag it over here. And notice what happens. This button right now is off, which means when I nest the sequence, it's going to nest as a whole bunch of copied and pasted clips. Take these four scenes and put them right there like that. They come in as this whole collection of clips as if I copied and pasted it. That's because this button is off, and that is helpful sometimes. But right now, I don't want it to be that way. I want to have the convenience of having a single clip. So I'm going to undo that by doing Controller Command Z. And I'm going to turn this thing on. So it changes the view such that when I drag something in now, it'll come in as a clip. Take these four guys, drag it in. There is just one clip there. And now even though we've got all kinds of audio things going on here and all kinds of layers, it's just one clip with one track of audio. Let me zoom out a bit by pressing the negative key or the hyphen key. Let's see what happens here. Let's go forward here. Here come those three images, one after the other. Okay, and then eventually they're just going to fall off the screen here, right about there. So that's where I want to finish the cross dissolve for them. So I need to unlink these guys. So I click on this, unlink them. And now I'm going to click away to finish that. Go back here, and now I'm going to drag this back to that point. And now I want to put a cross dissolve here so we can get all six layers to cross dissolve away. So I go to Effects, Cross Dissolve. And you can see them all fade away all at once. Very convenient. And then the audio continues because the audio was part of that nested sequence. And we let that continue beyond the end of those video clips, like so. Very convenient. Let's move on down the line here to this Photoshop layered doc. I've got this Photoshop file here that came in as a layered document. Here are all the layers, which I animated, like so. I want to do cross dissolves in them as well. So let me show you another way to make a nested sequence. I marquee select these guys. I click and drag, and I marquee select all eight layers. I don't select this one here. And now I right click here anywhere and go to Nest. And I type in the name of this, so I'll call it Fish Nested. And look what happens. It immediately becomes a nested sequence. It becomes a clip, just like that. So where is this Fish Nested sequence? Well, it was added to the project panel, right there. 
but right now it's a nested sequence. If I double click on it, it opens up this sequence there, all those layers. I want to work on this guy here, so I'll go back to this, and there is this clip I want to work on. I'm going to get rid of this one here. I'll just click on that and right click and say ripple delete. Now I've got this whole sequence here with just that one clip and all those layers working together. Let me expand the view of this monitor a bit. And I'll apply a cross dissolve to this as well. So I go to effects, get that cross dissolve going again, just drag it to the beginning and drag it to the end. We've now applied a cross dissolve to eight layers that easily. Pretty simple like that. Fade in, fade out. So there are three uses for nested sequences plus a couple of different ways to use them. You can also use a nested sequence if you have a whole lot of clips and you just want to create segments to your project. So one nested sequence could be like segment one and then segment two and segment three. That makes the management of your project a little bit easier. You work on one segment at a time in separate sequences. When you're done, you simply nest those sequences into a single sequence and call that your final sequence. In any event, I think you can see that nested sequences can make your workflow go more efficiently and simplify your projects.